Hello. I don't know what time it is, so I can't say if it's morning or not, but I honestly don't even anticipate all that many people watching me live. It just, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. So this is um, my chicken. Um, <laughs> I He's one of the first uh, critters that I knitted when I went on a, fa uh, went on a knitting spree for a couple of years. Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of thinking based on how <laughs> funky these guys look. This might be the first critter. No, I made a bear first, I think. I don't know. But I, ma I made a few guinea pigs and um, some bears. and But I just really loved this chicken so much. Um, and uh, so these guys all live with my daughter, are all my daughters now. Um, but uh, so I need to get some little pictures of them before they don't live with me anymore because she's going to come pick them up this weekend. I just, it just really cracks me up. And one of my favorite memories of these is when I got my big um, promotion and uh, was working for the um, the uh, Alumni Association for the University of Oregon. I got a professional photo shoot done and on the staff page for the website like the facing picture was me looking all professional and everything but if you clicked to like read my bio um the picture that was showing was me wearing um my daughter's girl scout vest the green junior vest and i was holding like an armful of all these little critters that i'd knitted <laughs> and i don't know if i have a copy of that that picture anymore and i'm kind of bummed because it was it really cracked me up that that was on um my professional profile. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, chicken's gonna sit here with me. Um, all right, so I actually had a lot of inspirations and a lot of ideas of what I wanted to come make a video about, but I think what I'm gonna do is try to keep it as just like a quick check-in. Um, so this past week I have been uh, trying to rest a great deal. Um, I do appear to have a pretty consistent annual cycle of around this time of year. I um, frequently suspect that I'm getting very sick and that there's something to be concerned about. And, um, and uh, yeah. And so this year I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm talking to my doctors. I'm getting the medical care that I need. Um, and I'm going to try to break this cycle of um, jumping to the conclusion that I'm sick and instead just like, I need some rest. So uh, one of the projects I've been working on is um, a annual review as if I were doing like a professional annual review of myself. Um, and so I've started just posting on my wall, my business page wall, all these different projects that I've um, done over the past year. and. So far, I've only spent a little over an hour on it, and um, it's been really fun because I keep thinking of more projects that I'm like, oh, I did this, and I did that, and okay, I gotta go find this, and so not only does it um, feel really good to look and see uh, what some of the things are that I did accomplish in the past year, but knowing that there's even more, um, I'm also excited about, so... Uh, yeah, so my plan is I'm gonna keep... I'm going to keep going and trying to find some of those other things that are popping in my mind that um, I want to make sure I'm including. And over the next couple of days, I probably will shift then to more of a, okay, now let's actually look at these things that I made um, and, uh, you know, kind of go into sort of an assessment role. <clears throat> um, and the other kind of pieces that I'm working on right now, uh, bit this... I did a uh, tarot reading for myself about a week ago that I posted here and I just went back and watched it because I like to see kind of how my understanding of the cards evolves over the week. And when I first did the reading, I was like, oh my God, this is huge. Wow. Oh my God. You know, this is a really good reading. I really feel like I'm getting a lot from it. And now that I look, now that I've had my week and I'm looking back on it, I'm like, I had no idea how how good of a job those cards were doing of giving me a heads up of what was to come um, and how intense it would be. So uh, one of the biggest shifts for me is um, 
I had a realization that uh, I've really kind of oriented throughout my life from the place of I mean, essentially like the really intense, scary, traumatic things um, started happening on the regular in my life when I was around five. And uh, I realized that I'd kind of oriented towards my entire life from that place as if um, basically everything that happened, you know, like I lived in a dangerous world and everyone around me was dangerous and there were monsters that were literally gonna come out of the woods um, or the jungle or whatever at any moment. And so with that orientation, kind of holding that orientation throughout my life, I now can look back and go, okay, I see what plays out now if that's my general orientation. And I had this really clear remembering finally come up of, um, of the truth of my experience in the first five years of my life was the, uh, really that I was steeped in community and I was living with a lot of family and I always had like grown-ups eyes on me, Lo grown-ups who loved me, unconditional, had their eyes on me and their awareness on me. And um, I got to spend a tremendous amount of time in water and in play and exploration and creativity and, um, you know, like there's so much that was so supportive of my uh, beingness in the first five years. And so th when I kind of remembered that, and it's not that I'd completely forgotten, I just hadn't kind of put the connections together in this particular way. When I remembered that, I was like, oh, holy shit. Okay, so basically I've been orienting towards my life from the place that I was when I was about five. What if I instead orient towards my life from here, from now forward, from the knowingness and the understanding and the belief and the trust that actually I am in extremely supported and I am loved and I am loved unconditionally and I do have, um, you know, my loving family chosen as well as blood um, around me. And, you know, yes, those the, the traumas will still happen. Um, they, but I, if I orient towards them instead of from a place of the world is dangerous and everybody's a monster and everything's out to get me and you know, all I have to, I just have to keep trying to survive. Um, and instead go, okay, this is an event that's occurring and I am, um, resourced and, uh, capable of handling this. Um, what, <laughs> like that's. <laughs> kind of like mind-blowing to just like it's a huge paradigm shift and so um re-listening to my card reading uh that was one of the primary themes was of the very first card is what do I need to know and it was clearly saying with a very subtle perspective shift you will become aware of so much more beauty and so much more love and so much more art and so much more grace and and I feel like this was that was the shift that I needed the perspective shift that I needed is my actual true foundations the first five years of my life were exactly the foundations that any of us could hope for or want or desire for a small child's um, just starting life of course there was crazy shit I was being raised partly by teenagers but you know um, that's a big part so I'm um, yeah so I'm I'm trying to hold that awareness as I you know review my past year and um, you know and I'm holding that I, I understand and I know that when I created most of these things I what the consciousness that I was holding was partly what can I create from here and the from here part um, for a good part of last year was uh, you know was from a place of I'm st I'm stuck in bed I'm too tired to do anything else or um, 
you know, or there's too much other stuff going on. I only have moments for myself or, you know, how can I create something that's going to create, uh, that's going to bring money in. Um, you know, so like that's kind of where the consciousness I was holding as for everything that I created. And now, um, or not everything, but most now I'm, wanting to hold the perspective and the consciousness as I kind of review it and look back over this past year of okay here's an idea um what are some other perspectives I could have of it what's you know how if I take especially if I take off the whole layer of how can this make money for me and instead just think of how how can this support my community how can this support me how can this how can this create a, a positive ripple effect that might, um, you know, benefit someone else that raises them up? Like, how can how can this become a part of the upward spiral of um, creativity and support for my community? <sighs> yeah. Um, there's definitely a lot more there, but um, that's a good part place to start. And the other thing that I, I'm really proud of is um, I did breath work this morning. And I actually, right before breath work, um, right before breath work, like literally within eight to 10 minutes before, uh, my beloved and I had a conversation that I found um, extremely activating. The topic of it, not, not his behavior or my behavior, but the topic of the conversation was extremely activating. And um, so, we calmed, kind of co-regulated and calmed a little bit together. He held me and, you know, said the words that were most important for me to hear in that moment. And um, I came in and did my breath work and got to have the experience of what is it like to do breath work when I'm starting at, an ex at a very elevated, activated, upset place. Um, and getting to feel like what a big difference that made and how much calmer I felt at the end felt profound and really important. So yeah, I'm gonna try to remember that and try to come back on a regular <laughs> to breath work. So, okay. Well, thank you for being on the receiving end. I feel glad that I did this um, now and I hope that I remember to come back and do a whole thing about breath work specifically because I just think that's important. <laughs> okay. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.